Filipinos know a lot more than you think. Um, the reason I bring this up is because a lot of people think they don't know how to grow their own crops, they don't know how to do X, Y, Z. The reality is a lot of people don't because of theft. I know myself growing tomatoes, peppers, uh, mangoes. Um, what else have we had? Um, these Japanese apples. The reality is people steal everything. And that's why a lot of people just don't bother. Learning to grow uh, herbs and some plants with medicinal purposes kids are taught at school they already know how to do it it's just that they will have their stuff stolen by neighbors that's the grim reality people will rob you blind as such this is why a lot of people just don't bother it's not that they can't do it it's not that they don't know how to do it it is often down down to the other problems of social society lacking in the ability to understand the need for ownership. Um, somebody stealing from you wouldn't even think twice on it. They would steal it and don't even think about it. Um, the reason I mention this is because a bit, I mean, I can't speak for everybody, but if I ever took something from somebody, I have this thing called guilt. So if I had done something like that, I would have some guilt. But there doesn't seem to be any with what I've seen, you know, because they just steal it. They don't care. And they don't, consequence, etc., isn't even thought of. They're not even thinking that you spent three months growing something. It doesn't even cross their mind. Don't even think about it. It may even be a adult that sent their kids to steal from you. So when you think you're going to do something eco-friendly and all this, be aware you're not the first, you won't be the last, but there's some hard lessons to be learned if you're trying to do it because people will steal. Um, to change that, you need to change the mentality within your own communities, um, which is no easy feat. Uh, so be, be aware that there is sometimes a lot of assumptions that the technology in that isn't there. It's not that. It is theft. Theft is the biggest problem localized corruption and theft um, because it's a bit like Africa Africa has the ability to grow lots of stuff but it's always in famine in many places and it's not because of drought it's because of civil war greed theft and murdering um, it's not they are the causes of the famine the water bit is secondary in many ways um, also you've got the live for today mentality a friend of mine um, he's actually a farmer from Zimbabwe. He, well, he owns his father owns a farm in Zimbabwe. Um, he's not a white guy. <laughs> um, we originally got into the discussion over white farmers because um, it's very PC, very political, and it interested me to get the perspective of somebody that's actually from Zimbabwe. Um, but he was saying his neighbour ripped out all the irrigation. Because they, you know, they had this land grab where they forced the whites out, etc. They basically, this guy got the farm and he was ripping everything out all the pumps, all the irrigation pipes, the generators, everything, and selling it. Everything. You know, you've got a farm that produces, a farm that generates food, a farm that is sustainable, been running for years, and they just take everything and they sell it all. And then they're driving around in a new 4x4 for the next two years until the money starts running out. That is often the mentality. It's a bit nobody wants to talk about. And I talk about it because I'm sick of it. I'm sick of people saying, oh, well, they, this is all linked to colonialism or whatever. It's not colonialism. It's corruption. They're different things. Poverty comes from corruption at all levels. It's not... Um, it's why... To make the change has to be at all levels. Just to, because what you get is the why bother? Why bother mentality? Because I didn't cause it, why bother? Well, this is what bugs me about the UK because I sit here pondering how could I change the UK for the better? It's, it's, it's become a non monopoly quite quick. Um, but the Philippines has 
the technology and ability to do it. It, it can solve its own problems if it chose to, or was forced to. Um, a lot of stuff gets donated all the time, and then gets robbed. And nobody talks about it because it's an embarrassment. Could you imagine donating stuff as the EU, UN, NATO, whatever organization doing it? It doesn't matter. And then you find out that the mayor, as soon as you shook his hand and had your photo taken, he's already got a buyer coming in to take your irrigation system or your new uh, water purification plant or your new solar panels, your solar array. Then you've got money from the EU or whatever, and they've basically sold it all. You don't publish it, do you? It's not good for your career. And that's the reality. So if you are going to do something, be aware that to get people on side, you need to understand the logic um, because a lot of the local logic doesn't match Western logic. But B, find some good Filipinos. The, there is plenty. You, you, you're chatting among some of them on the, the vlogs because they understand Western and Eastern societies and they know where you're going to get problems. They already know. And they can smell it a mile off. They can smell the smiles coming out of the woodwork that are going to run your projects for you and do a great job and skim 50% of it for their pocket. They will they already know how to source it and identify it. Um, I'm only putting this up because I know some people are currently doing some projects in the Philippines and I really don't want them to be fleeced of money. Um, they're good people. And I don't see why they should be punished because of corruption. Um, but be aware, Filipinos know how to do most things. They're not, they're not stupid people. They're not ignorant. It's because a lot of this stuff just ain't worth doing. And I may, I'm not saying that in a deflated way. I'm saying you have to change the culture to get it to be viable. You have to get people to work together instead of trying to rob each other blind. You need people to understand that it, a community project for the community and pull people together as a group. If you start doing it as an individual, you will find you're going to fail. Right? It's, you're better off trying to pull it together as a community where you get all parts of the community protecting it. All right, thanks for watching. Yeah.